last time on Dog Naropa, Trigger Happy Havoc. More. <laughs> and then, I don't like to say you try, you try, you try to show some backbone, but you didn't need to show that much. Just a second. You're dirty, Makoto, dirty president of dirty, dirty, dirty at Lordlandia. You don't understand. Just Time it takes to stairs of love three years up to the time, aren't ya? I'm telling you, it's not like that. What the heck? Just up already, Hina. You were your filthy mouth like that all morning. Huh? Filthy? Me? And now, back to trying to ditch school. If you just do it, it'll turn out okay. Last time, we discovered that Sakura was the was the mole. Or is that left in four? I forget. God, I can't remember. It's, it's all running together now. We I mean, did some free time events, Bond of Takami and stuff, and. We found Sakura was the mole. At least the, the audience did. Anyway, pff, the, the classmates did. Anyways. Let's get along with this. I think I've, I think I've, I think I'm ready to use myself or not. You know who I am. It's, it's my channel. Alright, let's get on to it. To the dining hall! Still mad at me. Okay, okay, good morning. Yep. Still ignoring me. Is she really that mad at me? Actually, it's not just Kyoko. Ever since Makuma summoned us last night, the atmosphere around here has gotten really heavy. I can almost feel it looming over us, weighing us down. <sighs> Nothing else I need to patch up things up with Kyoko as soon as possible. Uh, um Ah uh, Makoto, you okay Mon? How what do you mean? You're late, so we were worried about you. What a dollard. Toko? Byakya? What are you doing here? What the heck? They're taking refuge here. Refuge? Such ignorance. Let me get let me get to its face. We have to protect ourselves against the mastermind's tool. Don't make that to its face. We have to protect ourselves against the mastermind's tool. The mastermind? Are you talking about Sakura? Mm. That's why I finally noticed only when it wasn't dying hall was Sakura. Huh? Where's Sakura? Stop talking. All I know is if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was to safeguard against that threat. The that threat? Why? Why do you hear so much? Naturally. This is uh, this isn't obvious because this makes things unfair. Unfair. <laughs> the game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the mastermind upsets that balance. What the heck? That's a stupid reason. What? What did you say? Stupid. This is a life or death game, is it not? That's terrible. It is stupid. You're a stupid idiot. Hey. 
Before you, st before you, before you get too far into your argument, maybe you should stop and think of things through. Why did the mastermind reveal that Sakura is despite us? What the heck? They gave me to her, right? Think like Makafuma said, an eye for an eye. However, that may be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive the mastermind wanted to give us. The chaos and confusion born from suspicion. The hatred. In other words. In other words, this right here, the fighting, the bickering, is a trap the mastermind laid for us. Knowing that, will you still you still stand there and argue like children? I'm trying to do it's just I mean how can I get I blue sucker again <sighs> is, she, is she really going to beat the mastermind mom like she said that that will go away on my mind what are you saying? idiot your last year just been like so dangerous that's something terrible happened sir <laughs> interesting <clears throat> it wouldn't matter huh? what If, if Sakura were to die, that's one less person for the Mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. Hold on, Byakuya! Hmm. In fact... In fact, if she, were if she did die, that would solve this entire issue, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would put the whole problem to rest. Oh, damn! What the hell? You disgust me! You're... you're a monster! To say something like that? It should have been you. You should have been the one to die! What? I should have died? <laughs> Interesting. And are you planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead and try. If you dare. That's how it works here, after all. What is this? You think I can't do it? Hina! Calm down! That's right. This is exactly what the mastermind wants, and it's exactly what Sakura doesn't want. What's wrong? Lost your nerve? Meep! I'm leaving! I'll be in my room. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. <laughs> Stupid Cal! How dare she! She should die a thousand deaths! No, a million! So she was just another. So she was just another historical little girl, hardly worth my attention. Just a second. Huh. It's what other people call having feelings, Biakia. You can, and all you, and all you can do is mock them for it. Hmm. What's wrong with that? Hey. A friendly word of warning. Someday that attitude is gonna come back and bite you hard. I don't have time to play with you. And I will happily elude its attempts, peasant girl. <sighs> uh, so you know, so um, you know, Mon. Uh, um. How about we eat? Or maybe now's not a good time, Mon. You know. Hehehehe. <laughs> Another word. Each of us left the dining hall. We all head back to our rooms one by one. Phew! So I do today. 
I lost some free time! Alright. Let's check. Let's check. I think I have one more. Yeah. Gary again. All right. Let's finish off Biakia. It's certainly possible. <laughs> Sucker is dangerous, as is Hina. You never know when they might strike. So that for a while. Yeah, let's finish them off. That's fine. Fine. I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. I hope you appreciate this. I spent some time with Tag Tagami. We really got a little closer together. Yeah. I see. Now there's a rare moment. Coming from a noble family, I've never been exposed to such vulgarity. Interesting. I'll think I'll keep it. They make me happy! Meep. How do you still not understand? I understand what? Hmm. I've been sacrificing all this valuable time of mine for your sake, peasant boy. It's all amounted to nothing. We simply have nothing to talk about. Not possible. We could talk forever in a day and I would gain nothing from it. But the more we come to understand each other, you and I will never understand each other. We live in different worlds. Our way of life, our way of thinking are totally incompatible. You're a loser, so go ahead and live your loser life. Make a bunch of loser friends. Then get and together, you can lick each other's loser wounds. Oh, I said, I said smack you like Hina smacked you. You don't think I'm saying loser. That's enough. Whether your self-indulgence is a lie or not, it doesn't matter. Whatever happens, I'm going to keep on fighting. I'm going to keep on winning. That's right. That's one thing that will never change. Having to win all the time does not make your life kind of hard. Hmm. Such is the fate of the chosen. The chosen. What does that mean to ask you? You keep talking about the chosen. What does that mean exactly? The way you say it, it seems a lot heavier than I normally think of it. Hmm. That's fine. Fine, if I'm going to explain my time with you anyways, I may as well explain this one last thing. I'll tell you how I became known as the ultimate affluent prodig prodig prodigy. The story behind that? I like stories. Make, make, make a good, good video game. Or anime. So, in other words, it had to do with the secret of the Tagami family's prosperity. Our success comes from our family's rather peculiar inheritance system. Peculiar inheritance? What do you mean? Hmm. You see, our family head never takes a wife. Rather, he couples with exceptional women the world over in order to bear as many children as possible. All over the world? Hmm. They then make the children compete, and only one can come out on top. And whoever it is earns the right to become the next head of the family. You mean you have to fight your own brothers and sisters? That's right. For my battle, there were 15 of us in total. When all was said and done, the only one 
but the only one only one was still standing the youngest brother me <laughs> In the entire history of the Takami family, the youngest male had never won. Jeez, that sounds brutal. I can't imagine something like that. What? So now, do you understand, peasant boy? I won my title in alt open combat. That's how I became the ultimate affluent prodigy. I was not born in the greatness. I had to earn it. In other words... I put my life on the line, and I earned the right to be called the Chosen. You put your life on the line? Then what about your siblings? Dead. Dead! Stop talking. I don't mean that literally, of course. They become dead to the, Tagami, to the family, unfit for the, Tagami, unfit for the name Tagami. <laughs> of course, for them, it, it really is like death. The force become one of the 99%, one of you. But it must have been really hard, right? Hmm. Can't even imagine. This is why the survivor is recognized as the chosen. When you come, when you when you take over the head of the family, all the weight of that family comes to rest on your shoulders. So, in other words, that is how dedicated I am. I am forever dedicated to keep on winning. And so I shall. Hmm. Otherwise, I'd only feel pity for those I'd already defeated. Ryakia pretty much said he carries the weight of the, always having to win. Winning comes so naturally to him. <laughs> All I'll say at this point is I'm going to win this game too. It's been a long time since I've had so much fun. I need to get as much enjoyment out of it as possible. Don't make me repeat myself. And in the end, I will, I will stand victorious. I won't lose the, the mastermind or or you or anyone else. Even as the rest of you fall one by one, I will live and I will win. In the name of my family. As long as my name is Byakuya Tagami. The, final, the finality of his statement left no room in, uh, for doubt or question. No way but Byakuya could talk that way and sound so convincing. Because it's him, it seems possible that maybe that is his fate. Honestly, the more I talk to him, the more I see how far apart we are. Same time, I feel like I understood him that much more. At least I think I do. Goodbye. You know, let me be crystal clear. We no longer have anything to talk about it. Do not come to me like this again. Goodbye, loser. Unless you talk to me in school mode, then I'll probably be more open. I can't imagine Byaki and I could ever become friends in this lifetime. Or can you? Where can you go? Once Byaki was gone, I left my room. Plenty of time. What's in here? I should go somewhere. I see like you got yet to got me. Full composed. Awesome. There's all after victory. All right. Finally, let's warehouse. Uh, talk to Hina. I need her skills. Oh, damn it, I can't put her, I guess. Let's talk about her. I'm sorry. Oh. I didn't develop much. Damn. Alright.
Yes. Yeah. When are we gonna get out of here? <laughs> not that I, uh, not that I have much to look forward to if I did get out. I gotta talk for a while. Sure, why not? What's your problem? What? More pity? Aren't you such a good person? Show me. Aren't you such a good person? Show me all this pity. This is the time of taco. It was a pleasure day. He's smiling at me, blushingly. Sure. I'm engaged to the master, so I can't go on a date with you. If you have that, I don't mind if you think about me. Meep. I thought Toko totally hated me. It's not like she's going out of her way to avoid me. Still, we're not actually talking either. Hey, hey, Toko! What's your problem? Well, uh, do you have a class? Do you have a question? Do you have a question for your classmate? Uh, is she happy? So I can't ask you before, but we like doing this for a time. <laughs> I just write. I answer your life, so I'm always really busy. And I'm not writing, I'm just s s studying. I'm not an idiot like you. Damn it, I thought with my big mouth again. You sent me for sure now, right? No, it really didn't bother me. But I can't actually but I can't believe you actually write novels. People all over the world read them. So you get your ideas for what you write. Is it like real life experience or Are you stupid? What? <laughs> I told you then I, I write romance novels. I can't use my rock. How can I use my real life experience for that? It's not for my imagination. Just, just delusions. Delusions let you fall in love as much as you want, even if you never do in real life. Mm -hmm. Are you s saying you can't write not romance unless you already have a lot of experience in love? No, 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 not at all. <laughs> it's okay. I'm used to people making fun of me. But. Someday I'll show them. I'll get pretty someday and I'll show them all. Pulling, like, like, pulling over like magma, Toko stormed off. This time I'm sure she hates me. I tried down the head back room for a little while. Bing bong.
Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Thank you for the alarm clock, Mr. Monokuma. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Nighttime already. Night feels somehow uneasy. We still don't sell things with Sakura. Everyone's in a terrible mood. So nothing else happens tonight. Kind of got for this, off this, come this shrimp to drop the issue. What did you, what did you drop the shrimp idea? What's the shrimp idea? Was dead. So he came back to the ice cream caramel crab instead. How the commander sings a lot of crustaceans. I said no, of course, and she shot back. Okay, then how about I make you extra special and you can be a crab that walks sideways and backwards. That's not any better. I don't want to go sideways or backwards. I want to go forward. I heard, I heard a noise sign in the other line, in the line, and this he said. You just want to see the splendor of the crab. Have you ever heard the cra tell the crab the monkey? I heard it, I know that. So, but so what? The crab beats the monkey. It's but some legend. Are they ever relevant to our greed obsessed modern society? Sure, monkeys still show up in movies and stuff from time to time, but not crabs. Monkeys seem close to their swooping and splashing world. But crabs don't stand a chance, right? What I'm saying is, crabs have no place in the light speed world. Do your market, market search, lady. So, yeah, this is why I chose the always popular bear image. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma. Reboot. Reboot. Rebooted. Retconned. And nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Yay. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. My martini. I'm alright drinking martinis. It's about Sakura. I haven't talked to those, but one more time. Someone screaming? The dining hall. Uh, run. Ah. Uh. Oh my god, we got a big problem on. What's wrong? Look. His finger shook as he pointed. Dead. Open your eyes. No way he's dead. Why? What happened? Uh, well, Tucker and Hina, uh, just all of a sudden they were yelling, and then, then they knocked each other, they knocked Pepper off the table, Mon. Now led to a sneeze. You, little giant, her giant balloon, her giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? I might be flat, but at least mine are real. Look at my sharply colored bone. Is it just totally sitting on fire? Mm, totally not adorable. Anyway, you totally not adorable boys. Just get out of my sight, okay? What else? My beautiful scissors! I'll start cutting and cutting and cutting and dust myself for who knows how long. Okay, then let's get me a, okay, 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 then let's get me here at the nurse's office. Come on, hero, help me. Um. Sure thing. Wee -wee. <laughs> G 
Genocide, genocide Jack, Jack and Jill's abrasive laugh chased us out of the room as we carried Hina away. Without my friends taking care of Hina's injury in the nurse's office, she, she seemed to finally regain her composure. Sorry. <coughs> Thank you! <coughs> Are you sure you're feeling better? Y yeah, it really just was a scratch. <laughs> it's, it's still out. Super close, Mon. Wait, yell, if I yelled out, you'd be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know. Yes, well, a thousand thanks to you, sir. <laughs> So sarcastic, man. At this age, my feet are even more hostile. <laughs> but man, I can't believe it. I, can't, I was positive I was at least someone's eyes coming in, man. If I ever saw, if I ever saw like that, something like that, I'd never be able to sleep again. If I suck, suck. I love sleep, man. Yeah, never mind. The person who actually died, right? Hey, you know what the heck happened? Uh, uh, I, oh, well, I just got in a fight and I lost my temper and fell off the handle. Let me guess, the fight was because of Sakura? What? First, I just tried to ignore it. If you let jerk buttholes get to you all the time, they're have time to live your life. But she, should, but she wouldn't let go, so I just. What the heck? I'm not thinking about it, it's like I went to punch her a dozen times. You're serious? A dozen punches isn't really without thinking, Mon. I mean, things got out of hand. Genocide Jack got let loose, right? Sorry. Well, it's my own fault. Like, this couldn't take it anymore. Because, because. Because you're saying all this thing happened to my friend, you know? Before I knew it, he just, I started welling up with tears. This is the tears where the ring is spilling over. The door in the nurse's office burst open. I thought the door was going to fly off its hinges. And there she stood before us. Huh? Sakura! <sighs> You're hurt. What happened? Huh? Oh, no, nothing. It's not a big deal. Hey. Makoto! Makoto, here. What's the meaning of this? Is it me, Mon? It was Genocide Jill! So that didn't do Murderous Fiend's fault! Oh, damn. To hurt Hina. Damn you! To leave me alone, but to hurt her. What is this? How dare you! What is this? <laughs> I I'm okay, really. It's just a scratch. Hero, if you want to hurt someone, hate someone, or hate me, if you want to hurt someone, hurt me. I, I, I don't, I don't hate you exactly, man. I can't forgive this. Why? Uh -huh. this, 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 this. Uh -huh. Somebody save me, man. Hero nearly tripped over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office. Just one second later. What's going on here? Hey. What's all this noise about? Kyoko stood in the doorway of the doctor's office, taking Hero's spot in the room. My gather, something happened. Kyoko, please, you gotta stop Sakura. Wait. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not gonna do anything. I just... I'm drawing a line right here, right now. Drawing a line? Goodbye. Wait, Sakura! He's breaking the action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura. The only one left were. Meep. Meep? Um, Kyoko? Hmm. Are you still mad? Mm. Yeah, I figured. 
Huh? <sighs> About that issue we discussed earlier doesn't matter anymore. Then, do you forgive me for not being able to talk about it? In other words... You could have told me that Sakura and Wakuma were fighting, but you stayed quiet. You were only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse everyone until you could talk to her and be sure of what you saw. That's what you're thinking. That's what you're thinking and why you didn't tell me, right? Y yeah. <laughs> to think like that. I wouldn't have expected such arrogance from you. What? Because... Because it ultimately means you don't trust me. Uh, no, that's not it. That's how you really feel. I really can't change your mind. I'm sorry. That's fine. It's... I already forgotten about it. Besides, and I... I may have overreacted. Huh? Anyway. Anyway, it's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Okay, thank you. Whew. That should be something else. Damn it. What do you want to talk to me about? Indeed. Actually, I want you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. Where? So... Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess, but... Shall we go? Well, then shall we get going? Well, then shall we get going? For typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, setting a brisk pace. Ah, oh, Kyoko! Eric gets up to her. She walked ahead in silence. In silence, I chased her. Until we arrived. The dressing room? So something you mentioned. Indeed. That's right, it has to do with alter ego. But you said we don't need alter ego anymore. Wrong. I didn't say we didn't need him. I just said he had done his job. Besides, it's not uh, us that need alter ego. He has business with us. Huh? Right. Alter Ego has asked me to bring others to come see him. Apparently he has something he wants to ask us. Alter Ego wants to ask us something? Um. Hello! Um, uh, so just two of you, Kyoko and Makoto. Kyoko's fingers glide across the keyboard. Is two not enough? Thank you. No, it's okay. Two should be plenty. What is it he wants to ask us? Indeed. Let's find. Let's find out, shall we? Kyoko typed in the question. What did he want to ask us? So, um... Oh yeah. So I like you take. I like you to take me somewhere where you can connect to the school network. What? Kyoko and I quickly glanced at each other. She replied, Why? Okay. Well, um, you said my job was done, right? D but did it stop here? Saying I finished my work. What? I don't want the. I don't want that. I want to be able to help. Everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so I can all, all get out of here. That's what Master would want too. So to help everyone out, to solve the mystery of the school. The only way I can help is you connect me to the school network. But if you did that, that's basically suicide. I'm positive this Master would find out about it, and they would find you, and they'd. You agree, right, Kyoko? No. I realized how dangerous it could be, but still, I had to do this. I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't understand why, but... 
like to think about everyone else, my career starts to grow. You might think I'm some, un some unhuman AI, but that's true. So it's okay. If it's like everyone else, I won't be afraid. I can help you get lost in that voice. It's just too committed. Too admirable. Too fragile. Hey. You remember what you asked before, Makoto? That's what the difference between the pro person and program, right? Yeah? Certainly. When I talked to Alter Ego, I don't know. I have no idea how to answer that question. I think that's a question that even the programmer's creator can't answer. But I can say this. Correct. There's no question that Alter Ego is our friend. Kyoko. I... To be honest, I didn't want Alter Ego to push himself anymore. Because if we take more risk, the mastermind will really notice it. But... Makoto. Let's do it, Makoto. Let's, let's connect Alter Ego to the, to the network. But... Hey. He's our friend, so I want to take his feelings into consideration. And he still wants to fight alongside of his friends. No. So if you were in his place, could you sit by and, and do nothing in the situation? You saw everyone else fighting and doing their best. Could you just walk the other way? Or would you stand up? Stand up tall next to everyone else and tell them you're their friend. Meep. So, um... Hey, hey, are you guys fighting? Stand up, me, please don't. I'm gonna be able to say, I know I can do this. Leave it to me. So please let me try. Yep. Listen. And besides, there's one place that the mastermind might not notice. One place. That's right. Remember, there's no place besides here where there's no civilians cameras. Remember the fans cameras? Hey, room. Music room. The secret room. That's it. The secret room you told me about. I don't remember there's no surveillance cameras in there. I do believe you can take the network from there. I remember saying I remember seeing an Etherport on the net port on the wall. However. However, it's because there's no camera there, does it mean there's no danger? There's no way to be sure that Meistermind isn't monitoring the network somehow. We also have to move Ultra Ego and the Mastermind. Might spot us going in the secret room. They pick up a thing like this, and it's all over. You're right. That's what we have to do. But despite all that, I still think we got need to try. Correct. Because that's our best chance of finding any new clues. Meep. Kyoko. I guess you'll let me carry him. There's no way you can hide him with what you're wearing, right? So let me do it. It's true. Okay, then I'll leave it to you. Thank you. So then. Then let's get started. It's gonna be a little cramp for you, Alter Ego. Bear with us, okay? We started packing up right away. With us a laptop and stuff that underneath my jacket. <laughs> it tickles! I, look here, look, look here, look here, okay, I got a, I got a firm, flat stomach. can't talk right now. We're gonna move in that room. Until we get there, you gotta be absolutely silent, okay? Understood. Your command has been implemented. Uh, good. To have him react to machine like that all of a sudden, I know how to react. Makoto. In the secret room, there's a bunch of different cables in one of the desk drawers. So maybe that were cable in there? However... So you know, I'm taking already. All I can do is go inside and check it for That's ourselves. True. Agreed. Let's head to the secret room.
Okay. Hey, Makoto. Why? Are you sure document? Are you sure all documents are gone? I refuse to believe you. Go and check again. What? Listen to me. Just hurry up and, and go. And make sure you don't run off. I'm gonna wait right here. I like it. I like it. She's acting. So forceful. I thought I made her mad again somehow. Just a second. You're staying here. Just hurry up and go. Uh, okay, I'm going. So then. And be thorough. I'm counting on you. First, okay, first we gotta find a network cable. Find a key code to be. What's a cable in this drawer? Hmm. Found it! It's a network cable, right? And I gotta connect to the alter ego. And when they get to work, the laptop will connect to the Ethernet port of the cable. That should do it. I'll find the something. <laughs> I might be able to check the outside world, but I can't. I can see if I can call for help. So, so please wait a while longer. I'm gonna do my best. Just hold on tight and put your put your faith in me. As I was about to leave, I said, "Leave him with one last thing. No, no matter what, we're gonna get out of here. You and all of us, as friends. Huh? Friends." Even me? Thank you. Thank you, Makoto. Makoto. How'd it go? How'd it go? Well, I went okay, but all documents were gone, just like you. I told you. I replied with an initial mix of acting and real feelings. Correct. I see. There's nothing left for us here. Goodbye. Before I knew it, Kyoko was walking away. She wasn't acting anymore that much for sure. Ah, uh, Kyoko! What? I'm sure it's how we're gonna split up. Why is that? Of course. I know she's gonna stay with you at this point. Well, well maybe, but it's not a little too direct. <sighs> Should I hesitate and fumble for something to say? If you're so high maintenance, that's not what I meant. I just had more I want to talk to you about. Like, what are you going to do about Sakura? It's true. Well, something had to be done. It's true. However, but the way things are right now, there's no way to persuade anyone. They don't have the mind to listen. And what should we? So if we can find some new clue, that would likely change the situation. That's all we can help hope for right now. This is why alter ego. Correct. All we can do is wait and believe in our friends. You're right. That's only option. Part of the ways I head back to my room. Mm. I'm tired, so I'm down in bed. I was the stress of moving alter ego. I was way more tired than I realized. So before long at all. Hey, we dozed off. Huh? Sharp sound my doorbell pierced my sleepy haze and pulled me back into the real world. Makoto. Yeah, here. Okay, okay, what's going on? He 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 needed skin to see me. And she was why as a ghost. It sounded like something happened. What? As soon as I heard those words, my heart hit hit Archie being a little faster. I suddenly saw myself find myself wide awake. She said to come for she, she said to, for us to come to the rec room. The rec room? Okay, let's hurry. Anyway, 
better hear what he had to say. Huh? Lakoto! Hiyako! Hina, what's wrong? Something's not right! In the rec room! What's inside? Let's window in the rec room. I, I hurried to take a look inside when I did. Sakura? Is she unconscious? She's sitting up in the chair like she's buying her head. Hey. What's going on? Did something happen to her? Huh? I was walking past! And I happened to notice her through the window! Why can't I get it, why can't I, why can't I get it open? I tried knocking and calling her name! But she won't respond! Huh? So that's what we did what we're gonna do! Anyway. First of all, we need to get into that room. The door is locked, right? If you break in, it will be violating school regulations. Listen to me. We're gonna force our way in. I just said. Wrong. The door isn't locked. It's not locked because the rec room doesn't have a have a lock. I don't know why. It feels like something's pressing up against the, something inside the, the room. Is it the chair? 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 In other words. Either way, this door isn't locked, which means, as far as I can tell, the rule does not apply. Then there's no problem, no problem we break in? Indeed. Let's smash the window. That's going to be the fastest way. Okay, I'll get to the break it. With, with, uh, with, wait right here. The room soccer still hasn't moved an inch. She's just unconscious, right? Is she okay? I mean, it's Sakura, I'm so I'm sure. Mm. Kyoko didn't reply. It's only silent. That sounds didn't last long. Here! Uh, I found a room! In the classroom! Use it! Makoto. You can handle this. You can handle this, right, Makoto? Please! Hurry! Okay, you two, stand back. I took hold of the room and swung as hard as I could. I aimed directly at the window. I'll take us one solid hit. The window shattered to thunder pieces scattering across the rec room floor. I took my hand to the now opening window and started jostling the chair leaning against the door. It was pretty heavy, but if I can just put on with all my strength. And finally the knob turned. So <coughs> Sakura! As fast as I could. So I laid my hands on her. All I felt was cold death. Oh, wow. That was... A lot of stuff happened there, but... Oh. What's gonna happen next time? I don't know. We'll find out next time! I'm Dr. Rubber Trigger Happy Havoc. If you want to help me out, if you want to help me make these videos better, please, t please help out donating to my Patreon or check out my Amazon wish list. Because stuff there, you know, can help me produce better quality videos, and I can have more time to produce videos too. Or if you can't, aff if you can't afford something like that, just a simple like and subscribe, and a comment helps up YouTube algorithm all the much. And click that bell, never forget the bell, because YouTube sucks sometimes. In the meantime, as we find out what happens next, never stop learning and enjoy the randomness. I'll see you next time. Bye.